When we read the account of creation in Genesis, we learn that it was Adam's sin that brought death into the world. If we take the Bible as written, it is very obvious that death, bloodshed, disease, suffering, animals eating each other, thorns, came into the world as a result of sin. However, if one believes in millions of years, as the secularists tell us concerning uh, the fossil record, then we have a fossil record laid down over millions of years before man that has evidence of animals eating each other, bones in their stomachs, bite marks on their bones, evidence of diseases in the fossil record. We see animal bones with evidence of cancer, brain tumors, arthritis, abscesses, and so on. And there are thorns in the fossil record said to be, oh, hundreds of millions of years old. Now, the Bible makes it very, very clear that thorns came into the world after the curse. We're also told that originally before sin, Adam and Eve and the animals were all vegetarian. And we're told that God declared that the creation at the end of the sixth day was all very good. Very good uh, can only be defined in terms of how God sees good. And the Bible tells us that God is good and that God is perfect. And so a fossil record with diseases like brain tumors being described as very good certainly would not fit. In other words, it's the Bible's account of sin changing the whole world, changing the universe, that helps us understand why there's death in the world, why now animals eat other animals, why people even eat animals. Originally, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 29 and 30, Adam and Eve and the animals were all vegetarian, but that is not so today. The whole world has changed because of sin. In fact, Romans 8 tells us that the whole of creation groans in pain because of sin. As a Christian, one cannot consistently take millions of years and add that to the Bible. To do so, one would have to reinterpret the Bible's clear account in Genesis, which results in undermining the authority of Scripture.